What's up everybody, welcome back to another episode of Edible Knowledge. It's orange season! Yes, we're talking oranges. Orange, you glad I'm not talking about bananas? <laughs> what? 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 Did you know there are about 300 different varieties of oranges around the world today? <sighs> yeah, it's true. There are about three basic types of oranges. The mandarin, the sweet orange, and the bitter orange. So let's talk about the sweet orange for a minute. The sweet orange varieties are actually divided into four different groups. The common orange, like the Valencia, the blood or pigmented orange, like the Maltese or the Moro. The most common one, the navel orange, like the Caracara, the Washington or the California, and the acidless orange. The bitter orange has three types the Seville orange, the bergamot orange, and the trifoliate orange. Fun fact! The first known reference of oranges appears in China around 2000 to 500 BC. Originally considered the fruit of the nobility, it is now considered the fruit of the community. On his second voyage, Christopher Columbus brought the first orange to America. Spanish explorer and conquistador Ponce de Leon is said to have been responsible for planting the first orange tree in North America, near St. Augustine in Florida. And oranges have been commercially produced in Florida since the mid-1800s. I got more. Citrus production has been ramped up since the 1980s, and over 70 million tons of citrus is being produced every year worldwide. And half of that comes from oranges alone. The main producers of oranges? The United States of America, Brazil, Spain, China, and even parts of Europe. So guess what? In just one large orange, this is what you'll find. 86 calories, two grams of protein, zero grams of fat, four grams of fiber, and 22 grams of carbs. Oranges can be a huge help in keeping us healthy. Oranges improve vision, enhance sexual performance, prevents constipation, boost your immune system. They can help improve your mood. I'm grumpy. I'm happy. Can help to improve the appearance of your skin promote digestion of food, and healthy hair, as well as helping to manage asthma. Yep, oranges are awesome, but which ones do I choose when I'm in the supermarket? I'm glad you asked. Like most fruit, you want an orange that is firm to the touch, but not too firm. So you're looking for an orange, like grapefruits, that have an oval shape. Beware. If it's too round on both ends, it could be underripe and bitter. Brown spots don't necessarily mean that the orange is underripe or spoiled. It could simply mean that they were produced in warm and usually humid regions of the world. Uh, I don't think I have to tell you this, but avoid oranges that are soft and moldy. Well, that's all I have for you today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, comment below, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you always know when I upload new videos. I'm going to go get an orange, so I will see you next time right back here on Edible Knowledge. Bye!